now be working in Boston next year. Um, I'm originally from Singapore, so this explains the accent. Um, <laughs> I went to church on Sundays only and didn't like or go to small group. Um, coming to Penn here, I've seen God's love and grace and faithfulness in my life, and today I'd like to highlight the three ways. Um, one is faith and salvation. Um, I met God the summer of my freshman year and finally realized my sin and need for God's saving grace. I know that's a really brief summary and I'll be happy to talk about it more outside tonight. But today I'm really thankful that God moved in me something that I've never been able to forget and escape from. A conviction of the reality of Christ in my life and I know He has made Himself known to me and that is a gift. Um, second is growth and development through role models and community. I'm thankful that God placed so many Christians in my life who have mentored, encouraged, rebuked, and inspired me. I also find when I became a Christian, and it is really in the steadfast love of God that I've been surrounded by brothers and sisters in Christ at GCC who have made this walk possible and very beautiful. Um, third, I'd like to talk about God's faithfulness in difficult times. While I want to emphasize that there have been many, many blessings of which I've talked about earlier, I think it is in the harder parts that God's faithfulness has been more vivid. I've always liked to make my life look perfect and to hold it together, but as God showed me more of my brokenness after becoming a Christian, especially with feeling, especially with what felt like multiple failures in serving, I lost a lot of hope. Um, there have been days of um, feeling unloved, unappreciated, but yet, at the same time, being reminded personally of God's love in worship, in the Bible, in the encouragement of this community, um, and just walking and enjoying all that He has given. There have been days of mourning and of anger, of disappointment, but those are also the days where together, because of community, I have been given the strength to fight on. Um, I'd like to read a verse from Philippians 3, 7. But whatever gain I had counted, I had counted as lost for the sake of Christ, Indeed, I count everything as lost because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Um, there were many points in the past year at Penn where I did not consider Jesus worthy. Um, the cost of Christ, of living for Him, seemed too hard and too hurt too much. But slowly I've begun to see that, you know, after four years, that really nothing, nothing else is worth it. You know, it's work in progress, but it's by the grace of God, and slowly by mark of His faithfulness, that I can recount and see that gaining Him is all I've been made for and all that I want. My hope for everyone in this room is that you will be able to see that He is our surpassing love. Thank you.